When Vivian posted this photo on May 22nd this year, it went viral. For the obvious reason that Steve Harvey was in the photo. Some people were happy that she finally met Steve Harvey and managed to take a selfie with him. But others were criticizing Vivian, saying that it is a forced selfie. And Steve Harvey is not even aware of the selfie. This is not the first time that Vivian was facing criticism. She was criticized when this song dropped and even got criticized during this proposal in 2017. She recently got attacked online after claiming that Christianity is a disease and a brainwash. The foundation of Christianity is control and fear. We'll talk about this later in the video. But we can all agree that Vivian is or was one of the leading singers in Kenya. She gave us several songs, big songs, that we enjoy to date. There's Cham, Chingichanga, Chum Chum, and many other songs. Sadly, she has not been actively releasing music. And maybe you're wondering, what happened to Vivian? Where is she today? Let's find out. Remember to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. We all know Vivian as a musician or entertainer, but the story of Vivian did not start in music. She was once selling thermoses. So how did she move from selling thermoses to singing? Vivian spent most of her childhood days in Ruma, located in Nairobi County. Ruma is considered to be a slum, so we can say that she came from a humble background. Or let's say she was raised in a modest environment, because not everyone in Ruma is poor. A family later moved to Pangani, which is a better place as compared to Huruma. Vivian studied in good schools. She attended modern group of schools before proceeding to Status Girls High School. After completing her A-levels, she decided to try and look for money and we'll know how shortly. In a recent interview, she spoke about how her mother, a single parent, was instrumental in shaping her character and values. She praised the mother's resilience and hard work acknowledging the sacrifices she made for the family. And just like the mother, Vivian was also hardworking. And this is evident as after school, she got into hawking so as to make money. To be honest, trying to convince someone to buy something, especially a thermos, is not an easy job. Maybe in Bungoma you'll succeed. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, as days went by, she decided to look for something better than selling thermoses and her dream was to become a musician. But at this time, music was not taken seriously. It was a time that music was deemed as something that is done by losers or lost people in the community. People only respected white-collar jobs like being a teacher, engineer, accountant, and all those careers. Nevertheless, Vivian had decided. This was the only way out of poverty, and she made the decision to pursue music wholeheartedly. Uh, and then out of one day sitting and looking at my life, I'm like, hey, 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 what else do I, what are my desires, what are my gifts, what are my skills? And then I remember, by the way, I see. She went to a studio and recorded demos. Back in the days, you had to record a demo, which is like a rough draft or sample version of a song that gives a producer or listeners an idea of what the final song will sound like. So after recording several demos, she joined a record label called Main Switch. And this is where her life changed. Main Switch was a big record label, which was associated with former singer Jaguar. At first, Vivian admitted it was tough as she was still new. Her breakthrough in the music industry came with a debut song My Dream featuring Jaguar. Just to mention, Jaguar was supportive and fully funded her first project. This collaboration introduced her talent and captivating voice to a wider and new audience, and it opened doors to more collaborations and other exciting opportunities. She also released another song called Woman in Love, and also featured a musician called Bobby Mapesa in a song called Over and Over. She then released more big songs like Charm, Chingichanga, Chum Chum, Attention, among others. She has collaborated with big artists like Chameleon from Uganda, Waire, Madini Classic, Prejo, Bahati, and Red Sun. I doubt if she ever released a bad song, 
all the songs were good, but some people didn't feel this way. When this song dropped, Accelerator featuring The Council, which is actually a big song, some people felt that her lines were, for lack of a better word, lame. But this song is a club kind of song, not a love song. So it's unfair to say the verse was lame, and also it's a genre that she isn't known for, and she actually did great. Besides making songs for the fans, she was also falling in love, and her relationship was relatively public. Vivian met this man, Sam West, in 2017, while still working at Main Switch. To her, Sam West was godsend, and it was Sam who helped her become the dream music star she had always wanted to be. And this is how it happened. When she was still working at Main Switch, Patio Entertainment wanted to sign her, but she knew that was not the direction she wanted her music to go. According to Vivian, she prayed to God to get a reliable and courageous producer, a producer that would bring out the kind of artist she wanted to become. And the prayer was actually answered. She met Sam West and she felt that she was the right person. So they agreed to work together and Sam West later became her music manager. In an interview with Eve Woman magazine, Vivian said that the problem with most recording stables when they're dealing with a female artist She's never in charge of her music. Everyone else owns it. Everybody can decide what direction your career is taking but not you. They remove you from opportunities. It's like there's a high level of oppression. You have to consistently assert yourself and be comfortable, not adhering to everything. I wanted to liberate myself. I thought this move was the right one towards this freedom. To me, Sam was a savior. Vivian and Sam's friendship went beyond music and they became lovers. In 2017, Sam West became the talk of town after he proposed to Vivian on the 10 over 10 stage on Citizen Television. The show was live and the audience got the chance to experience this rare event. During this proposal, Sam West admits that Vivian is a queen and, and she needs a man who can build a palace for her. Sam West was very poetic. He even used Vivian's song titles and lines in the proposal. You have made my heart go terrain terrain. <laughs> you, you are the woman in love. <laughs> Vivian is the woman in love, but I am the man in love. <laughs> the proposal might have been the best thing for some ways to do at that time, but not everyone thought so. It's even clear from Vivian's expressions that she was not comfortable or prepared for this moment. You'd expect her to cry or celebrate, but Vivian is just seated, looking sort of confused and fascinated as she listens to Sam West recite his romantic poems. As expected, people noted and they commented saying this about the proposal. She didn't even cry or act moved. That was the first red flag. He's not your type Vivian. Sam commented saying that this is the worst proposal ever. I won't add anything. You can go and watch the video and find out why some people felt that it was the worst proposal ever. Vivian later admitted that she was not ready for marriage when Sam West proposed to her that day. Were you ready? In hindsight, I don't, I, 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 in in hindsight, I mean, even if you look at my expressions, I was not ready. Yeah, yeah. But that didn't mean that I was not in a relationship. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's marriage and then there's the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I felt like we needed to get to know each other a little bit better, mm, Unajua. Mm, mm. And because of the kind of career I mean, and Unajua Pia, Musa, anytime you're with a public figure, if you're not ready for Yaninjia could divert at some point or unajua because it's a very it's very public driven. Yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. Because when I started my career, I didn't think I would write a book. Oh, okay. But now I'm an author. You mm. understand? So mm. we didn't talk about life here too in regards to our our job. It was like ah, since to koapa, not koawili, and we look cute together, let's get married. Yeah. Mm. But no, that's not reason enough to get married. Anyway, after the proposal. The relationship still continued. They even held the Kikuyu traditional pre-wedding ritual, which is known as Rurashio. But why did you marry him? Um, good question. 
is it is it fair if I say we he proposed on TV? Is that <laughs> <laughs> he, he proposed on ten over ten. <laughs> so I was like the two became a power couple, loved by fans, and for years, Sam West worked as Vivian's music manager. So this means they spent a lot of time together. Eventually, this relationship developed cracks and began to fall apart. According to Vivian, they are all fine in public, but in private, things are messy. In mid-October 2022, just days after revealing that she was not well and she was struggling in a relationship, Vivian posted a photo of herself fully shaved with a lengthy caption that had cryptic texts in between. She also stood by a decision to shave saying, when no one shaves her head, she means shading off all manner of negativity, which in her case were the happenings that she had gone through with Sam West. I just feel like foundation to really crumble. There mm. was too much and the foundation couldn't hold. In 2022, she announced the breakup that they were not together. My heart is so heavy. Someone left us and now hates us. I've been trying to rebuild but I've been wondering why. I feel like many things are not working and I can't do tough love anymore. I'm extremely hurt and broken and I'm not sure what this is doing to my brain. Sam West also responded saying, I don't blame Urife. Sometimes a man has to run or flee like Joseph. Otherwise, he will die. These two eventually went their separate ways and it was Sam West who walked out of the marriage. Who walked out? He walked out. He walked out. Though within the marriage, we'd, we'd had bumps. You know, we'd had spaces where I had walked out at some mm. point, then yeah, he came back, back, then, you know. Uh, but this time, he walked out. Mm. After this separation, everything crumbled as Vivian was not prepared for it. She lost her partner who was the manager, and the manager was handling and managing her music. So after he left, she didn't know what to do or how to start again. In March 2024, Samuel shocked many when he said that he was never married to Vivian. They were in the process of doing the wedding, but that never happened. Mm. Process. Mm. Na kufanya harusi. Ah. Then harusi ya ikutendeka. Mm. Tukua tumefanya engagement. Mm. Then along the way, kukakuwa na vitu zilifanya to see, mm. like to the next step mm. ya marriage. Mm. He also added that after parting ways, he must himself into learning more about relationships so he can be better. And by the way, Sam West is now actively posting motivational videos on his social media accounts. On the other side, Vivian decided to start again. She partially relocated to the United States and settled in Georgia. She joined a psychology and mission school. The other reason that made Vivian to relocate to a different country is that she felt like Kenya was so hostile, especially after she went through the separation. She also revealed that she was in Kenya for so long, dedicating her life to music, and it was time for her to do something different. Vivian also joined Bible school seeking to gain clarity for herself but ended up battling control issues there because according to her they wanted her as a separated woman to dedicate all her time to the church community something she was not willing to do and she left that community on 21st august this year vivian posted this video explaining why she no longer believes in christianity in the video she questions the origin of christianity describing it not as a path to enlightenment, but a tool used to control and spread fear. The foundation of Christianity is control and fear. It is living your life, your whole existence, out of a book. All your choices, everything about who you are, being determined by one book and someone can hate you condemn you ostracize you belittle you dehumanize you and justify all of these things all of these actions justify each of these actions to this one book which they call the holy book 
obviously some Kenyans were not happy with the statements and said this about the video. Vivian, you haven't met God, the living God. You're just hurting from your past experiences. Forgive yourself, forgive those people who belittled you and give God a chance. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Fear God, woman, and stop attacking what is beyond you. Don't try to fight Christianity because you can't. We used to go to the same church pre-COVID. So seeing this today for the first time, I'm surprised. I do get where you're coming from, but the foundation of Christianity is Christ. Others supported Vivian, saying, until you start questioning everything, then you will arrive to this point. Many are believers of what they don't understand. I'm happy we are in the same frequency. Vivian also tried podcasting. She has a podcast called The Vivi Podcast. In the podcast, she talks about drug and alcohol addiction, relationships, parenting today, and many other topics, featuring familiar faces like Tumbili, presenter Ali, Miss Trudy, and others. And did Vivian stop making music? Maybe, maybe not. The last song posted on her YouTube is this song, Rhythm and Flow featuring Waire, which was released on April 12, 2023. And by the way, on 25th May 2024, she had a huge performance in Dallas at an African event called Waka Waka. As of now, she seems to be doing okay. She's now living life in her own terms. She also makes videos to enlighten the public about topics like suicide and depression. And even better, she wrote a book called Take Back Your Power. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to like this video. Comment what you think about the video and subscribe. Let's meet on the next video.